Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Shattered Relics League. We are now on the final push to tier 7. We are under 2k points away, 1650 left to go. And today I'm going to try my best to reach that. But right now I have to edit the previous video. So I'm going to go set up to AFK somewhere. Oh, that task got completed. The one that was like broken from before. I just opened up the menu and uh, that just popped up. I got 50 league points just in time too, because we're going for tier 7 today. I'm going to be AFK and Karam ones this morning. And based on the fish and cooking levels actually get more cooking xp than fishing xp doing this method there's a chance we might get very close to 99 at least for cooking so i'm gonna start editing now goodbye i mean hello good morning well just like i predicted we were here for 99 cooking and then we get 125 league points from that Still gotta stay here a little bit longer though to AFK for just a little bit more. I am done fishing for now. You can see it's 3 million cooking XP per hour and then 1.6 million fishing XP per hour. Then we got some fragments to open. There's level three for Rogue's Chompy Farm and then we got some keys to make as well. I feel like a good way for me to get points to push to unlock the last tier is just to like unlock a bunch of bosses because a lot of them have a thing where it's just like do one KC and then you get points for doing that. And I was just thinking because I just got the Salve Amulet E, maybe I'll unlock Vorkath and try that out. Let's accept. We'll try Vorkath. I'm coming over here to buy the Slayer Staff and that just remind me there's a task to equip the Enchanted one. I got the Enchantment Scroll last video so... Let's enchant that and equip it. And that is 50 leak points. Oh, equip a salve amulet E was uh, <laughs> was a leak task. Just ignore my failed Vorkath attempt because I forgot the salve. Oh, I was, okay. <laughs> well, I didn't realize that that was a thing, but I have just activated the reset effects for 125 leak points. Look at those hits though, 54 with the, like the lower your hit points, the more damage you do, so. That's probably going to help me get this kill. It's probably going to like make or break it. Yes. Oh my gosh. How long was that kill? Let's see. Okay. It was 812 and I got 50 leak points for defeating Vorkath. If it takes me eight minutes with all these fragments, needless to say, I'm probably not ready to grind out Vorkath quite yet. It's time to upgrade the boots to the dragon boots. I'm going to grab a spiritual creatures task. You don't have to be on task for it, but I may as well get the extra boost from the Slayer or from the Black Mask and get a little bit of Slayer XP along the way. When I did Making Friends with my arm, it automatically built all the fires, so that's very convenient for God Wars. And then I brought a bunch of ropes because I, I, I think it's three or four that you need, but I just brought the bunch. Because the first time you go to God Wars, you want to like set them down here and like at the Ceridoman area. Yeah, so just tying the ropes down here. And normally the Dragon Boots are one out of 128, but because of the three times drop rate, it's going to be one out of 42. And there's the Dragon Boots, 55 KC. So we'll equip those, and not only is it an upgrade, but there's also a League task for 50 points. In Trailblazer League, your KC never went down. So if you went into the boss room, your KC wouldn't drain. If you left God Wars and then came back, your KC would still be whatever it was when you left. It only goes up over time the more that you kill. So I, if it's anything like the last League, then it should be saved uh, when I leave and come back later. So if it is that way, then we're all set for Sarah KC. I haven't really had the chance to watch many YouTube videos because I've been so busy making daily videos myself, but I'm sure other people have shown God Wars and it's probably like that. Came over here to fish some sharks and I have caught 100 for 50 leak points. To make an enhanced crystal key, you need 80 smithing and 80 crafting, which I don't have the crafting level, but because of the side effect giving me the plus eight, I do actually have the crafting level and I have to actually use it. Open the first elven crystal chest and that is 50 leak points. I have so much renown, dude. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna spend 10 to unlock Sriracha and that is one Seracnus KC. Apparently when you unlock Skatizo, you get five free dark totems. So I guess we can just head straight on in there. I was standing at the bank thinking, oh, should I actually bring Arclight? Because I heard that the, the fragments don't like work for Arclight. And then I just totally forgot that at the very least, the arc light helps for uh, these altars here, but oh well. 50 league points for Skatizo with the slowest death animation in the game. Next up, let's try a KBD and we'll unlock it for 10 renown. There's one KBD KC and I also had to come here anyways for the Wildy Easy Diary. All right, I'll just unlock a few bosses here. Winter Toad and Zolcano. These animations were cool at first, but now when you're trying to like unlock everything in bulk and you can't do anything in the meantime, <laughs> it uh, drags on a little bit and then Maybe Zora. Even though I hate the gauntlet, there's some tasks that we can do there, so I'll unlock that as well. Oh, can't forget Temporos, of course. Bro, what? I just, 
I couldn't even get like enough damage or anything. I, I didn't set up my fragments. Maybe everyone has their fragments set up so they're getting like triple everything. Okay, I think it should barely count because it's, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm so glad it actually counted. Yes, I beat the gauntlet. We got 50 league points for that. Let's see what the loot's gonna be. Amazing. Oh, just enough time. I'm so bad at the gauntlet. I mean, they just haven't done it enough, but just enough time. If I don't get this time, I'm not going to bother. No, dude. Oh my god. That's the most frustrating thing. Again, just enough time. Let's see how it goes this time. If I don't get it, I'm probably just going to rage quit. Dude, I definitely should have died. Like, I tank so many hits from those freaking things that Humlift summons, but I think because of absolute, yeah, absolute unit, makes me take way less damage, but if this was the main game, I would have died a long time ago, but I guess uh, that's the point of the league. Everything's a lot easier. So we got a uh, task done for 125 league points and we get that stuff. It's really not fair. I survived that though, to be honest. And here's the beautiful gauntlet cape, which I don't deserve to wear, but whatever. 700 points to go till tier 7, getting closer and closer. I just spent over 200k GP on Mystic because I ain't have any, but we're going from probably one of my least favorite bosses in the game to one of my favorite bosses in the game. Yeah, Zora is down. That was fun. I'm probably not going to really get into Zora or just bossing in general until tier 7 because that's when you get the final fragment slot unlocked and you could like really start making some cool combos with the set effects. Let's unlock a very difficult boss, the giant giant mole. Oh, it's funny. They put those little lock things over each of the mole hills to let you know that you can't go in unless you've unlocked it. Oh, they have private instances for it. Oh, that's so good. I can't be bothered switching my fragments around or switching out my gear, so I'm just gonna mage it to death. Stupid mole. Just walk around the corner, bro. All right, there we go. One KC at mole. Oh, defeat the giant mole and then do one hard combat achievement. So I got 75 points from that. And then I'm not gonna come back to Mole until after we get the Falder Hard Diary done, so that way we have the Mole Locator and we get the Noted Drops. I just realized, I think I've had the Crystal Bow in my bank this whole time, haven't I? Yeah. And then I just never equipped it since I recently got 70 range, so let's put that on, and that is 50 League Points. Then I also quickly have to get one more Smithing level. And that's 83 Smithing, and 83 with the plus 8 boost is 91, and you know it's 91 Smithing. Cow Destruction! Oh my god, is that just like a cute Iron Man just training a fresh account in the League's world? That's so cute. So let's assemble all this together. I got the Runite limbs and we'll attach that, attach that. And there is the Rune Crossbow, which is an already elite task, a hard League task, and then equip the Rune Crossbow and that is another hard League task. I'm gonna cancel my Slayer task. We only have like 200 points left, but I'm gonna go back out into the Wildy, and I think I was at like 26 or something Wildy tasks. I'm gonna go until I get to at least Wildy task number 50, so that way we'll get a big point boost, and we'll see how many points we have by then. I have hopped through literally, and I, I mean literally in the most literal term, I have hopped through literally every single League's world, and every single world has at least one person, if not two people, uh, with their cannons up there. And no, you can't put this blame on me because my video hasn't even gone up yet where I use the cannon there. So, I mean, I have two options, either PK someone and take their spot, or just place my cannon next to theirs, which would be really weird. I would hate to be that guy. And either way, like, it just, it puts me in a bad light with either option, you know? Oh my god, I just kept hopping worlds, and I guess someone must have left this world. I do remember, like, hopping to this world twice already, um, but... It's open now, so I'm very thankful. And no, that's not code word for I pk someone. <laughs> or is it? There is 50 willy tasks. I got 562 points just from that willy task. I probably have enough points in total now, but there is a leak task to do 100 tasks. Um, 100 Slayer tasks. It does combine the amount of Wildy Slayer tasks you've done with the just regular Slayer tasks you've done, so I think I have to do like 30 more, so I'll just stay here until I get that done. Hey, I've leveled up my Divine Restoration Fragment. I went back in the clips to check, and I believe this should be the last task to reach the 100 total tasks completed for the League task. 
And um, yeah, I've been here for like two hours today. Looks like I had just enough cannonballs. This is all the cannonballs I had. They didn't just bring out like half of them or anything. Ah, there it is. Complete 100 tasks. We can get out of here now. I have over 3,100 Slayer points and I'm not sure this was like the most efficient thing to do, but I knew it's something that I eventually wanted to do on the account. So we have it done now and shouldn't have to worry about Slayer points for the rest of the league. And that also allows me to complete a couple other tasks. Three Laurent keys to open. Let Let's see if we're gonna get any uniques. No. The two things I'm gonna unlock here are the Slayer Helm for 400 Slayer points and then Broader Fletching for 300 Slayer points. And I think I have everything here to make that into the Slayer Helm. And we get 25 League points for that. Another thing is just to fletch some Broad Arrows or Broad Bolts. So I'll just buy a bunch of these. And we get 25 League points for that too. I found a cool way to get, I think, two tasks done at once. I have all these Guams in the bank that I've just been collecting. And there's a task to clean 26 herbs at once using the Grime. And we should get two done here. Uh, Casty Grime, full clean. And that is now base level 10s on the account. And when I was at the gauntlet earlier, I did get a drop from there called Eyes of Newt. And that was actually calculated my, my death in the gauntlet so that I could get that on purpose. So that way I can make attack potions. And that is also a very challenging leak task to get done. Oh, maybe we can get to level 20 and then we'll have base 20. Ooh, I got a fragment that could be, okay, there's base level 20s. I'm hoping this is an herb lore one. It's gotta be, right? Production, mixologist. Let's see what this does. I haven't trained any herb lore on the account and it's kind of something I've been dreading. I just haven't really been looking forward to getting into farm runs and setting up like a whole like herb lore and farming tab on a temporary game mode. But it's something I'm gonna have to do eventually, although probably not today. Creating potions has a chance to give you a four dose variant and a chance to save the secondary. Oh, look at level three though. You always save the secondary. Oh, that's gonna be really nice then. So maybe it's not even worth training Herblore until I get this to level four, like training other skills. But if you have this equipped and you're training other skills, you can still level this up. So this is gonna be my excuse for procrastinating Herblore for a while longer. Dude, this is so crazy at Tempros. I'm getting three times resources and half of them are cooked. And wait, I should be able to cook the full inventory at once. Oh my God, dude, that is insane. And we have... No. Are you serious 1% off? Does that mean we lose? Dude, we were in here for like 10 minutes. Did we actually just lose? Because I think there were a couple of people AFKing on the other side. I, 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 oh my God, I can't, I can't believe the whole time was just a waste. That is one KC at the Temporas and we are now under 200 points to tier seven. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but you need 70 construction to move your POH to Prif. And right now with the boost, I'm at 72, although I'm inclined to believe that's not gonna work. Yeah, still need 70. I know where we're going, except let me just do that. Okay, we're good. Okay, triple logs here. And then once we get the full inventory, I should be able to fletch the whole thing at once. Oh, I guess the fletching doesn't like do the whole thing. It's supposed to with the craftsman, but I guess that they made like an exception here. And so the age old tradition carries on. Why fletch? There really is like no reason to be fletching though. With how fast you can get a full inventory of logs, you shouldn't be missing those 500 points points unless you're just like really slow in afk or something let's see how big the xp drop is 105k xp and then we get 25 lead points for one toad and then let's see what we get from this first ever crate oh warm gloves nice is there a task to equip those no not nice then. Just gonna cook an inventory of sharks here and that is cook 100 sharks. I mentioned before, I'm not gonna be buying the skill capes except maybe like crafting and construction maybe. Um, but I'm kind of just saving GP for the max cape so no cooking cape for me. I was going through the list of elite tasks because they give 125 points and I'm only 120 points away from getting to tier seven. And I think I found one I can do, cast Sinister Offering. Normally you need wrath runes to be able to cast that. But if we go to the obelisk and the wildy, which gives you unlimited of any kind of rune. I think I should be able to cast that there. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. Seeing as I'm 99 magic, I do have the magic requirement. I think everyone's out here like casting the surge spells on each other for that task. No, I forgot to switch spell books for it. I don't think I've ever seen someone fishing dark crabs over here before. Interesting, interesting. I love the league. This is it. Nothing could possibly go wrong here, right? We'll cast sinister offering and 
I reached tier 7. That's it, baby. 15k leak points. The free fragment I unlocked is called Larger Recharger. Let's see what that does. Oh, your special attack restores faster. Oh, well, hey, 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 move, buds. I'm trying to get a, a good thumbnail here. I'm try an NC Hider or something. And then here's the passive unlocks that we got from tier 7. So we got the random combat fragment. We've unlocked this seventh fragment slot, so I'll be able to make some pretty sick set effect combinations. And then the coolest thing, the League XP multiplier goes up from 12 times to 16 times, the highest possible XP multiplier. So I don't have to feel bad about skilling anymore and I could finally start working towards max. And speaking of maxing, I have this feeling right now where it's like the same feeling I feel whenever I max. It's like everything just feels so open and I can like finally do whatever I want to do and actually play the game. Although I'm sure soon enough I'll get complacent and get back into the grind and rhythm of grinding out points or stats or whatever and the next time I have this feeling will probably be if slash when I end up maxing on this account. Also it's really weird this person looks just like me but in girl form. Whoa. Except the pants but whoa. Hello. Nice, nice mustache sir. I don't know what to do. I didn't have a plan for like today after getting to tier 7. I, I've just been standing here. I don't know what to do. Well, when I don't know what to do and I need something to kind of pass the time in between things, I'm just going to do the Apatol Agility course because it'd be cool to maybe passively work on those uh, 2,000 laps. Even if I don't get there, I'll still need to get Agility up either way, at least 92 for Sepulcher. And I don't have the RD Diary to do the RD Rooftop course. I mean, I could do it without the diary, but it kind of seems like a waste. See, I'm currently at 109 laps, and the next unlock for more points is at 500 laps. Probably won't be doing that many tonight, but we'll, we'll work towards that. Hey, 250 laps is the next tier of the monkey backpack, but uh, I don't think there's a task for that one. Pretty sure 500 is the next one. Hey, Plank Stretcher Fragment is level 3 now. I can train construction, except I can't because I'm poor. Ooh, a fragment. Level three clued in. Speaking of timers and time, it's getting very late right now. It's past 2 a.m., which means it is time for bedtime for me. Um, it looks like I spent about five hours doing agility tonight, got up to 390 laps. The agility level is up to 89. I think I started with like 83 or something. Just went back and checked the clips. I started with 82 tonight and we're up to 89. Here's the leak point, so we hit 15k today, tier 7, and here's the time played and the stats that we're at, almost 1900 total. And tomorrow begins a new saga on the account, the post tier 7 saga, but with that said, thank you so much, you can't even like see me there. With that said, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow.